Good morning everyone, how are we all? Welcome back to my channel and to a little weekend vlog. Um, this is going to be probably one of the most random vlogs, but you know what, I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while and we've got a to-do list like that is the length of my arm of things that we need to do in the flat. Basically, um, I'm having a photo shoot here next week with Sky, um, so the team are coming around to shoot in our flat and um, featuring obviously the, the TV and we've just had a new one delivered for my bedroom. I'm not really big on watching TV in the bedroom, just I've never really had one so it's going to encourage me to have some lazy mornings which actually I'm kind of here for. So yeah, need to prep for that. We've had another leak. <laughs> Sorry, it's really loud outside as well. It's really warm in London so the windows are open. Um, yeah, we've had another leak in my bedroom. So, uh, yeah, that's not great. Um, so I need to try and patch that up for the shoot on Monday. Um, we've got mould growing in there, which is great. Uh, we had, we've contacted the landlord three weeks ago, who contacted the managing agent, who then sent someone round, and um, just looked at it and went, yeah, no, we're not, we're not gonna touch that. So they're going through the building insurance. So they're like, just, we're happy to leave that and I was like you're happy to leave it but I'm not because it's black mold on my bedroom and I'm pretty sure that's actually illegal that's today's task build a TV well assemble a TV um paint a wall oh, guys the end is near the end is near we literally now effectively have a leak in Zara's bedroom well it's stopped leaking but a leak in Zara's bedroom a leak in my bedroom a leak in the end bathroom Ta -da! so um we're on operation tick things off the list. I also have been meaning to do this basically since the dawn of time. You might be able to see that I'm um, here. The shelf is very close to the TV there, but slightly further away on that side. I actually think that the shelf when we put it back up was never fully straight, so I really need to, um, I basically just need to move it up slightly. So I've got the spirit level out. That is a task in itself. I've been sorting through some paperwork. I'm having a little sort through this little file system here because We've had this since we first moved in four years ago and I've just been looking through stuff. I'm going to cover my details. So I just found this. And this was the deposit we actually put on this place in on July 2nd, 2019. I remember, so when, Zara, when did we graduate? It was 2019, right? Yeah. July. Right. Yeah, so we, we graduated university in 2019. You weren't on, you hadn't gone full time at your job, had you? Oh no, maybe you had. I maybe you did. Rent. Yeah, this is how like strapped for cash we were when we first moved in. We had to pay a month overlap between our old place and this place, so we effectively had to pay like two months' rent plus the holding deposit of this place, which was one thousand five hundred and seven pounds. I remember that summer. I was like, I we have no money. I think I had to borrow that from my nan. Yeah, because I genuinely didn't. I couldn't. No. It was no, tight. I just, I said 2019 was the year I'd gone full time online, so my invoices weren't clearing in time. <laughs> you weren't earning good money in your job, you were really sad. Yeah. yeah, it was a tough time. So yeah, just found that. So it's weird anyway. And we've just found like the sheets from when we were doing the COVID testing back in 2021, and we were part of the Office for National Statistics COVID infection service. Each month we would. Um, do like a swab and give blood so they could kind of like Essentially we were part of a Natural experiment that they could test our bodies to see if we developed antibodies um, And then that's what led to the vaccines being developed and rolled out. So I feel like we did our bit for the world Zara yeah, we, did our guinea pigs, we were guinea pigs so some chap would come to our flat every single month with a mask on and we had to do swabs um, and answer questionnaires so yeah, <laughs> it's so mad looking through all this, but all this stuff we are just getting rid of. Yeah, car, old car finance, when I first financed my first ever car when I moved to London. Just doing a bit of, bit of sorting. But yeah, this Vilofax system is so handy, it's what we keep all of like our house stuff in and whatever. But yeah, that's today. We're just having a bit of a mooch day. We're gonna walk back in a bit and grab a little coffee. And we're making pizzas this evening, so that's what you would have seen in the intro to this vlog. I don't know if I, did I put this on my vlog? Maybe I didn't. I was very kindly sent a pizza oven from Uni, and we actually took it to Cardiff last weekend, which I didn't vlog. And um, <laughs> it didn't go well. well. No, that's a lie, I'm being critical. It did go well, we had pizzas and we ate them, but, they were a little bit burnt, and by a little bit burnt, I mean, sorry, that's all done. They were 
black. Um, I didn't realize that you had to like turn them. So obviously my electronic pizza oven I've got, you don't need to do that. Whereas with the uni, because the fire comes from the back, that's the main heat source, you need to keep on turning it. And um, I didn't do that. <laughs> So I've learned my lessons. I've ordered some tools off Amazon. I'll show you in a second. So this evening we're going to make homemade pizzas on the balcony. I've got a gas canister, so it's going to be perfectly safe, he says. Um, so yeah, that's today. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm laughing because I think I'm actually close to tears. So yeah, this is, um, this is my little part and gift from our flat now. So that's black mold, which is obviously really, really serious. I'm gonna to have to mask up and do what I did in Zara's bedroom and wipe that and then put some sealant on it and then leave that for 24 hours and we're gonna to paint tomorrow. <sighs> the glass arrived, so that's gonna go up on there. Those parcels I actually just need to drop off at the um, post office is what I've sold on Vintage. But yeah, that's, um, that's today's task. Once I've painted, we're gonna pop the TV up. It's at times like this, I'm just like, I know owning a home is gonna be completely different because I've effectively had to wait three weeks with that for the landlord to turn around to the contractor and say, just leave it. It's just so infuriating, but it is what it is. Genuinely thought the days of me wearing these masks were over, but apparently not. And here we go. Okay, I have sealed everything. This stuff is brilliant. I said it in a previous vlog, Ewan actually gave me it. It's like an anti-mold like sealant. So it goes on and it's quite like yellowy and not nice. And I mean, obviously this looks horrendous, but essentially I've just put it on all of the, oh sorry, it's backlit. All of like, the parts where the leak came through. And what I'm gonna do is leave this to dry overnight and then I'm gonna repaint it in brilliant white so it'll be nice and crisp and fresh. Okay, I have showered and we have Lots of things to get off the to-do list today. Charity shop run, I need to take trousers to a tailor. I need to go and get painting supplies, drop parcels off. We are back. We have walked 14,000 steps. In this heat, it feels like, ugh, honestly, it could be this heat in like Spain, France, wherever, and it feels lovely because there's like a coastal breeze. This heat in London, I see it every year, it's like a different type of heat. Anyway, how many are you at? 13,000, but I don't understand because my legs are smaller. Got my trousers dropped off at the tailor, picked up um, wool filler for my bedroom, posted parcels, got groceries for pizza this evening. Uh, what else do we do? We've got a little coffee, which is really nice. Something. We're meant to go to Boots. Oh! We'll go tomorrow. And then I just had to get myself a little Fanta lemon from the shop because it's just. Like, it is the best. I'm going to uh, fill the holes in my wall now, and then I'm going to prep the door for pizza tonight. I'm so excited. Might make a little salad as well. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, the holes are filled. That is going to need at least 24 hours to dry. So I'm pretty much done for DIYs for the day. So I'm going to allow myself some reading time. I'm halfway through The Family Remains by Lisa Jewell. And... I'm not gonna lie, life's been, like it feels like it's been really busy and I haven't had like the mental capacity to read. Like we're talking, when I'm on the tube, I'm having to either do emails or send things. Similarly, when I get into bed, my head hits the pillow and I'm out. So I've been enjoying this. It was a bit of a slow burner, but I think it's really good. And Lisa Jewell has such a good writing style that she doesn't give too much away, but makes you guess and double guess every single character. So it's very good. So yeah, I'm about halfway through, so I'm gonna sit and read. Okay, so I've just made myself a little kale salad. I'm gonna add some almonds and we had some left off of feta from last week. So I'm gonna pop that on top. I've just rolled out the pizza doors and they are, <laughs> they're actually proven in Zara's bedroom because it is that warm in there. They're gonna rapid prove. So yeah, this is a little, a little lunch and Zara's currently fast asleep on the sofa. I think all of that walk and knackered her out. So I'm gonna have some salad. I'll leave a little lid on this if she wants it in a bit. Or we could just have it as a side with the pizzas later. Delicious. Okay, it is pizza oven time. This is the uni 
and it's the Uni Corda. Now, I don't know if I actually feature this, but this is very kindly sent over from Lakeland. This is a beast. We took it to Cardiff, as I said. When I say this cooks pizzas quick, it cooks pizzas very quick. So, um, yeah, it's in this little carry bag. I've got the gas canister here. I had to go to B&Q to get this. It was a bit of a mission, but um, this is perfectly safe. Honestly, we've already used it. And obviously, you just need a big open space. We've taken the washing down. <laughs> Everything has moved away. Nothing flammable. So, um, yeah, we're good. So I'm going to unpack it and turn it on. So the uni is on. You can probably see the remains of um, <laughs> the last time's pizza. It was slightly burnt on, but that's fine. That'll all burn off. So what I actually didn't do is um, read the instructions properly. You're supposed to have it on maximum power, which is controlled at the back. So it gets up to temperature and then you lower it down. So that's good to know. And I actually ordered a digital thermometer as well. So we'll be able to just literally turn it on. See, so we're at 57.6 now. And then we're at 96, it needs to go up to 400 degrees. So it's getting there. So it recommends you preheat it for about 20 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is the door. Look how well that's risen. I am so pleased with that. They're like pillowy, soft, wonderful. So I've got some semolina here. So I'm gonna roll them out, start with one, and then move on to the second. Right, this was pizza number one, no burnt crust in sight, however, a slight hole in the middle, but you know what, that's all right. I'm pretty impressed with that. For a first attempt, well, second attempt, first round, not bad, Zara's just doing hers now. We're doing a little mozzarella with some mushroom and then some prosciutto, drizzle it in olive oil and then bang it in. Okay, we're going in. You've got to do the quick flick, this might stick, but you know, oh no, we did it. Woo! Straight in there. Right, dinner is served. This is my margarita. I'm so pleased with it. Tiny hole is fine, and that is Zara's ham and mushroom. And she made some Aperol spritz while I was cooking the pizzas, and then we've got a little side salad going on in here. I'm gonna dig on in. This looks so good. I'm so pleased with it. I'll link the Uni Pizza oven down below on Lakeland because they've got really good prices and always have discount codes as well, so you can get a little bit of a saving too. So pizzas were delicious, and we are now watching Room on Amazon Prime. Um, it's Based on a book, Zara's actually read the book, I haven't read the book, but this is really quite sad. It's basically about a man and a son who are trapped in a room. It sounds really awful actually, but he's just turned five, so we're only 25 minutes in. Hard watch, I'm not going to lie, we're having a little Mars ice cream. And um, I am going to pick the vlog back up tomorrow when when we paint the wall, which I'm sure will be thrilling content. <laughs> um, it's going to be a deep clean of the flat, and um, yeah. Oh. Freshly baked so pastries. Delicious. Not for you. Oh yeah, <laughs> so tasty. Good morning. It's Sunday. It's Father's Day here in um in England. Is it Father's Day around the world? Same day. I always no, get I confused. It's okay. Different days. Um yeah. <laughs> we aren't spending it with um our father figures. However, we have had a lovely delicious uh, butter and crust delivery order arrive. I love this so much. We get a fresh loaf of sourdough delivered, and when I say it like that, let me show you the sourdough. Look at that, it's gorgeous. So it's this um, company based in South London. They deliver to lots of different postcodes around South East and South West London um, on a bike, so they deliver it very early in the morning. I did put on the delivery instructions, please don't buzz the doorbell, because they come at like half six, and bless the woman who delivered did. So I was like, Oh my gosh, like, I'm so sorry it's early, I put your delivery, but anyway. Um, and I popped two of the pastries in the freezer because we won't eat them all, but you get a selection of four morning breakfast pastries. So this is some kind of like Danish swirl. And then we've just got a regular croissant. And Zara's has made me a coffee. I've had a bit of a slow start to the morning. Bit of the monumental task ahead. <laughs> we need to clean the flat. It's been a long overdue clean. And um, I need to paint my wall and assemble a TV. Oh, sorry, I just sneezed. <laughs> um, so I've started on the paint in the bedroom. It's the most dull paint, and so, I mean, it's pointless me even showing you what I'm doing, but I'm managing to go over the damp, um, like, sealant. So it is covering it. I'm using this Valspar Perfect White. It's really thick, like, the consistency is perfect for this. So I've just done, like, a slight coat in the corner just to see what we're doing. 
Um, but yeah, it's gone on all right. So I'm gonna do the Corvin, roll all of the walls, and then re-go over it again, and then it should be somewhat there. Okay, we have unpacked the sky glass. As you can see, we've gone for a lovely little green colour. Um, I remember actually putting this together last time, doing it on my own. And ours was the medium in the living room, so this is the small, so it shouldn't be too stressful. And just as I said, the corner was perfect. It's now started to crack up top, so I'm not even giving that the headspace right now. It's as good as it can be. Now we need to assemble this, and then that is the last job for the day. We are officially done. This took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna, and yeah, like I say, we were just gonna ignore up there because <laughs> complete waste of time. I don't even know why I tried, but hey ho, it was better than what it was. But that doesn't matter. So TV is in, everything is cleaned, I've rehung some pictures just because the ones I had on previously were lower than the TV. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the TV here. This might actually go in Zara's room because I'm not really big on watching TV in my bedroom. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. I might actually really enjoy having it in here But like I say, it's more so for the shoot and the content, but I really love the color This is in I think it's in the racing green. I really enjoy it And I think maybe when we come to move we might actually use this in the living room because the one we've got in our living room is Huge it is such a cool cinema screen. I feel like maybe in like a snug it would be awesome But I feel like this is definitely more of like a smaller size, but yeah really happy with it I just give everything a good hoover Rehung my curtains and then move my desk back to where it was just obviously for the shoot I've just got some clothes to put away bed linen to put on and then we're shoot ready Wow, what a morning flat has never looked cleaner, but I am Rather tired <laughs> Gonna jump in the shower and have a well-earned clean. We are back We just ran some errands got and got some toiletries things that we're running out of body cream toothpaste and that kind of thing got a new house plant for the living room, this is an air purifying spider plant. Look at that. Looks like your hair when you first wake up. Well, that's a compliment actually, so it definitely looks worse than that. <laughs> um, and Zara's just trimming some blooms. We're in for carnations this week. Flowers are a little treat to ourselves, I just feel like they're nice little. It's a nice way just to, you know, it's just nice. We can allow ourselves, it's five pounds for the bunch. Wow, look at that! There we are. Something tells me that spider plant is going to be ready to be replanted very soon. But for now, I think that looks awesome. I love that. Oh, let's bring that one a little bit more forward. There we are. That looks so cool. It looks like the face has hair. <laughs> I like that. And we swapped out the peonies and now we have carnations. How gorgeous are they? When they bloom, they're going to be stunning. Very happy with them indeed. I'm officially doing the wardrobe changeover. I think this is the latest I've ever done. Life has been so chaotically busy. Sorry, I've actually got the TV on, which is really nice. I'm watching George Clark's Amazing Spaces whilst doing it, which is actually making me like really into it, if that makes sense. I've currently put all my shorts and shirts in and like linen trousers and stuff. And now I'm swapping everything over and putting my autumn winter stuff in back bags under the bed. wardrobe is officially done. This took a little bit of time. I feel like every year, honestly, I've been doing this swap over ever since I got these wardrobes four years ago, nearly five years ago actually, and I feel like my wardrobe gets bigger, but then also the pieces that I know I love and rewear keep on making a reappearance every year. Like this shirt, I think I've had it for like six years. I love it. absolutely love it. It's all fully organised, all of my nice trousers, and I've got loads of spare hangers now for anything that does come in, and um, yeah, I feel like I've, this is the best summer wardrobe I've ever had. Fully organized and everything is folded underneath. Okay, we are making dinner, and I think I mentioned this in the vlog previously to this about making ramen, um, following a recipe. Oh, my camera battery is flashing, so I need to be quick. It's the spicy Korean ramen from this cookbook. It was very kindly sent over. The weather's a bit cooler today, so it's actually meaning we can have something warm for dinner rather than just salads. So this is the recipe. Cook the noodles, stir fried the veggies, got some sesame and salt here. So we're gonna assemble with an egg and that'll be dinner.
mentioned on my iPhone, sorry, my camera completely died. This is delicious. It's quite spicy, but it's really, really good. I've got my little ramen spoon here. It is gonna warm the cockles of my heart, that's for sure, but it's really good. We finished up dinner and we've just been sat watching some Netflix this evening. We're watching Angela Black. Um, it's so, so good. I don't know if it's just a UK show, but oh my goodness, it's six episodes. We've watched three already today. So, so good. It's like a psychological thriller drama. Amazing. We literally, it's 20 past 10, so we need to go to bed. I really hope you've enjoyed this weekend vlog. It feels good to be vlogging again. And um, there's lots of exciting updates coming up soon, which I will be able to share very soon. So yeah, um, lots of love to you all. Take care. And I'll catch you up very soon in a future video. Bye for now.